On today's Home and Away episode of Anoki Daily Spotlight TV, we're learning all about quick and easy organic tips and tricks busy moms can prepare for their family in a flash with Anushka Garnier from Nush Nosh. Something that I think all of us really want to do is feed our kids healthy. The problem is we don't have time. Yeah. You know, all of us are running around doing our thing and we're just trying to get food into them. Forget about trying to eat clean. In this society, it's so easy to kind of reach for pre-packaged foods or things that are chemically processed and right. we might not be aware of it as such because we probably grew up on it because our moms probably just didn't even know any better. We're fortunate enough to be educated in this generation about how we can pick and choose the right foods for ourselves and now for our children. I like to start my days with green smoothies. I think they're simple to make and they're super easy. You can get your kids involved in putting the ingredients that they want into it. It takes like three minutes. What I've made is a sweet almond saw glossy and it involves core ingredients, very simple ingredients, spinach, almond milk. You can make this homemade or you can buy it in the store. It has hemp seeds, dates, mangoes, and we just put a little bit of cardamom in there to make it taste like an original traditional lassi. So Anushka, we've now talked about, you know, starting our mornings off right. What about a snack? I think that's one of our struggles is what do you snack on in the middle of the day? I created something called a chai chia pudding. And again, all the ingredients that we're using today you can find in a typical Indian pantry. So what we've used today is a chai spice. Um, that I've mixed on my own that has like cloves, cardamom, cinnamon. And what you can do with this is, again, you can make it the night before and it's actually better because the chia, which is a soluble fiber, will absorb the amount of liquid that it's in and it'll give it like a tapioca-ish kind of pudding. So instead of giving your kids like, you know, the regular processed chocolate pudding, you can package this up in a beautiful little mason jar and your kids will love it. So it's got almond milk, it's got yogurt, it's got chia seeds, We've also got some maple syrup or honey in there or agave just to sweeten it up. And you just let that sit overnight. And the next morning, just loosen it up a little bit. Sprinkle on your spices, sprinkle on your goji berries. Here's the scenario. I've just run in home from work. My kids are running in behind me. They're starving, okay? So you can picture this, me rushing in the kitchen, trying to prepare a meal for them. And the truth is, I don't want to sacrifice on nutrition. So all of the tips and methods that I've talked about today can be used in any meal. Things can be left in the fridge, things can be warmed up, it's quite versatile. You can play around with it and make it luxurious or as simple as you want. A quick thing that I like to do is do a batch of maybe slow roasted or poached chicken and leave it in the fridge. That way I can use it, cook it once, use it three times. Another thing I like to do is create a turmeric tahini sauce. So again, I use my trusty Nutribullet or Magic Bullet or my High Speed Blender. Um, I put five ingredients there, blitz it up, keep it in the fridge, and kids love to dip. So whatever I'm making that night, I can just put the chicken on, sprinkle the sauce on it, and it's good to go. So something super simple that you can do is uh, do collard greens in coconut oil. Very simple, you just have collard greens, you take about a tablespoon of coconut oil, just saute it up, a little bit of rock salt to bring out the nutrients, to bring out the actual sharp taste of the collard greens, and a little bit of toasted almonds sprinkled on top. It's crunchy, it's great, it has this yummy coconutty kind of warm feeling to it. For more on Nush Nosh, you can visit nushnosh.ca. For more on our show, you can visit us at anokimedia.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.